So welcome back to uh, my latest video. It's just a few clips here that I've, uh, I've got from some old footage. Just thought I'd start the uh, the film off with that. Um, there's some previous scene stuff on there and there's some unseen stuff, but uh, I thought it'd be a good run up to the, the film. I uh, hope you'll enjoy it and uh, I look forward to seeing you a bit later on. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Well today is May the 7th 2021 so that can only mean one thing it's my mate's birthday so happy birthday to you Chip I told you you'd get a mention uh, and on the subject of mentions I'd like to say a big hello to Davey T, Willie Cosgrove and Wiley223 and also hello to Jose Augusto. Uh, Jose uh, let me know where you're living so I can put a pin in the map. It's, ni it's nice to know where people are living. Uh, I know that Willie Cosgrove is uh, from Southern Ireland and he did get in contact with me to let, telling me that they have no grey squirrels uh, where he lives. So maybe we can all club together, put some in a box for him and send them over. So there you go Willie, that's one for you as well mate. Uh, so this video, uh, this is going, uh, this follows a phone call yesterday afternoon from the farmer where my shed is, it's the cattle farm. He'd noticed an increase in rats recently. It might be just because of the rain that we've had, uh, it's bringing the rats out again. So I'm over at the farm uh, last night to sort the rats out. Plus there's a couple of bonus creatures in there that um, the farmer asked me, should they raise their little faces, can I sort those out? So there's a couple of bonuses in there as well. Uh, I'd like to say a special thank you to Liam at Air Effective Tuning. Uh, he's the FX uh, tuning specialist and luckily he's quite close by to me so I've been able to see Liam. He sorted out the Wildcat behind me that I use for the nighttime shooting and later on this afternoon I'm taking over my other Wildcat which I use for the squirrel shooting and he's going to sort out and um, give that a bit of a service as well. So thanks again to Liam. Uh, he also ticked me off uh, about the Hills compressor, which you can see here. Uh, uh, that's a, a fantastic bit of kit um, to either fill your little bottles up, you know, your, your buddy bottles, or, or straight fill your gun straight from it. So a brilliant one. And uh, thanks to Terry at the gun shop for sorting it out for me. So enough of all this. Let's get straight over to the farm uh, where the, you'll see a bit of rat action. There's quite a few to go. Uh, so thanks again for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications and also uh, share this with your friends if, if you've got some shooting friends that like a bit of rat shooting, squirrel shooting or fox shooting. So catch you later on in the video and thanks again. This is my chosen ratting equipment. Um, it's Recon Tripod, uh, FX Wildcat 2.2 and my Pulsar Digex. NV450. Um, this is only uh, zeroed at 20 yards so it's it's perfect for this environment especially here, around this lake where all the, the ducks and the geese are so uh, been successful here before so hopefully there'll be a few that will poke their little heads out as it gets darker later on but um, I just thought I'd film this beautiful sunset tonight um, I'm all set up ready uh, and we'll just see what happens later on. This first contender decided he was going to hide behind his feeder and I think he was there in total for about five minutes just occasionally sticking his nose out just to let me know he was still there. It was only uh, when a couple of geese came around uh, in the next clip that you'll see that actually sort of prompted him to move around where I could get a, a, a bead on him but um, talk about playing cat and mouse he really went for it on this one.
Again, this pair of rabbits, they were in one of the pens that's got some Hawaiian geese in it. And uh, the farmer particularly wanted these out of here. Um, but again, it meant shooting through this very fine mesh. Uh, I've done it before with rats, but it is really a hit and miss. And um, there's probably more luck than judgment. But um, anyway, this fella stands here for a while before his mate pushes him out of the way um, and doesn't live to regret it. One of the tips I picked up from Liam was uh, not to leave your rifle cocked for prolonged periods of time. We all do it. I've always done it before, um, thinking that it was no harm with a PCP, but apparently it weakens the hammer spring, um, or could weaken the hammer spring, and you lose a bit of performance. So thank you, Liam, for that tip. Um, I am having to remind myself not to load until I'm about to shoot, but... Uh, it's something to bear in mind. I'm sure we've all done it. Yeah. But, um, anyway, this fella was almost lucky to get away with this, but I do actually go and find him in this bush um, at the end of the evening. that previous right after he twitched his way out uh, where I could get to get to see him clearly this was a lucky chap well lucky for a while but um, he moved just at the right time then sorry about that that sorted him Ooh, we didn't like that rats are very vulnerable from the back um, must be Texas heart shop must be quite soft the skin around the back end so um Give that one a try if you get a chance. No about that one. What are you looking at, mate? Oh, there's a red light up there, look. Them, Mr. Mannerine. They don't like it up them. I certainly don't like it up them. I'm not sure if this is the same rat. He, he sticks his head up the next time and has another look, but I don't know. I'm, I'm looking at it over again. I think there was actually two here.
So I went around and picked up the ones that were safe to pick up. Um, obviously there was some where the cattle were that I was um, asked by the farmer not to go in. It's a bit dangerous, especially at night. So uh, thank you very much to uh, the landowners for the, uh, permission to let me shoot. Uh, thanks for watching. Thank you again to Liam and I'll see you later on. Uh, catch you on the next video. Please like, subscribe and share this video. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next film. Thanks again and I'll see you later.